Okay, the other one was outside, the outside. This one's going to be inside, the inside. Okay, or cross. You're crossing your body, right? I should be stepping in and jamming them up. And that way I can get to use of the weapon. <laughs> okay? Here, inside of hand, back hand. Oh, I thought you were doing the alternate. No, you can if you want, but that's oh, okay. That's confusing. <laughs> so, the attack's here. Back hand. <laughs> I need alternate. Anything that can be done, empty hand can be done with a weapon. So, when Christiana steps in here and stabs, right? Boom. So the first thing I can do is just strike the throat, okay? She backhands, I strike the eye, right? When I crossed, right, I can arm bar, I can hit, right? I go here, I cross, I can hit, right? What you then start to do, which we're not going to do today because we have this material now, is you would just start going where she would come in, bang, right? Bang, right? Bang. Does that make sense? You can do it empty handed, you can do it ambidextrously, it doesn't matter. Um, in the earlier work, everything's right handed, in the, except for Talhofer shows a lot of lefties, and then in Mayer, you definitely see people using left and right, okay? So I always advocate the ambidextrous because, you know, this hand gets crumbled somehow, right? Boom, I gotta switch to my other one. This one hand gets crumbled somehow, boom, I better switch to the other one, right? Whatever the scenario is, okay? I might not have the knife, okay? I might find a knife and go, oh, oh, here we are, right? Oh, this is not what I wanted, but I don't have a chance, right? So then I just, okay? Because I know how to do these blocks on both sides, okay? So, next part, we're gonna do dagger defense. So, your homework will be to go and do all the ones we just did empty-handed with a blade stab them every time, okay? This next part, we're just gonna be practicing hanging, okay? So, as she <coughs> goes in, okay, I'm going to catch her on the wrist. Now, this is where I tell people, go as hard as you like bruises tomorrow, okay? So, as she comes in, I just step into it. Now, I'm gonna step in and oppose her force, just like whenever her strike came in and I caught it with the opposite hand, I'm jamming her, right? I just don't wanna stand here and let her come in and turn this because this usually isn't a very good structure, right? Instead, I'm going to go at her, okay? I'm gonna block her out here. Don't let the bullet get the full go, okay? On this, on the back end, I just step this way. Now, you can do Meyer, where you're here, okay? I just step off this way, okay? And then when she attacks the other side, there you go. Oh, I just step this way. And I uh, rinse, cycle, and repeat. You'll catch them on the forearm, on the hand, or on the blade. It doesn't really matter. Does that make sense? Okay, so then I just reset it here. She comes in, boom, boom, boom. All I'm doing is blocking. You know that? Sounds pretty simple. So, you can just do Myers overhood, which is here. Mayers is kind of bent like this. I don't really care, just have it right up here and you're just gonna learn how to step that way, step that way. Make sense? Okay, three, two, one, go. Line with my body, kind of like the putt with one sword. Over here, right? Here in line. So here. Bang. Okay. So I want you to go a little more here. A little more there. Yeah. Now step at his foot. Yes. Yes. There. The 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 structure kind of stays there. Wrist. So you don't have to lean in quite right so much. You can keep yourself kind of centered. Oh, no, no, no. Horizontal. Okay? She backhands on this side, horizontal. 
Okay? So my blade should look like this. This one, we usually a bent arm helps, and then I kind of punch it like I'm kind of going, right? So here, boom. Except for uh, in Wing Chun, we punch with the bottom three knuckles. So if you imagine, you're almost doing kind of a punch like that, okay? So I go here, and bang, okay? I'm kind of punching her arm because the idea is one of the things we lose whenever we gear up, which is good and bad, is we lose the pain response, right? If I take this and I bash her with any type of edge on her forearm, she's going to have at least a momentary hesitation, like ah, and then go to move in, right? So from here, I just punch it over here, I punch it over here, I punch it over here, I punch it over there, and I turn it horizontal. That'll be important when we do the next part. Okay. Same thing again. strike at me, I just kind of put this barrier here, it's going to collapse it, right? Physics tell me I have to either meet or exceed his force whenever he comes in, right? I exceeded it, right? If I just meet it, we just would stick perfectly right here, right? If I was underneath, boom, right? So, adding to that the blade, and if you ever get punched with a pommel or one of these right in a bare arm, it's not feel good, right? So, the next part is we're going to do what's called the, the dirk gangan. Now, the dirk gangan, dirk means change, gangan just means like go under and through, okay? So, from here, I'm going to do the horizontal because it's easy, okay? He comes here, boom. He keeps forward pressure on me. I'm going to turn it. Now, let's watch that again. Everyone do this in the air. Now, it should be pointing out your right elbow. Now, turn it, okay? Do that again. Turn it almost like you're gonna bring it down to the ground, okay? Boom. Ready, and go. So, now, when he comes, I step into it to meet the force, and I turn it, okay? It's gonna do one of three things. One, it will pop out, sweet, okay? The other, it will turn toward him. We jam it into him, sweet, okay? Back up. Okay. <laughs> the third, I go here, we jam both of them into him, and he gets to pick which one he dies with, okay? Yay. So. He throws the first one, I step into it. Part one. Part two, I turn it inward and bring it down. If you're a Tal Hoffer fan, you'll love this, okay? And that's it for right now. Then, we go back to the beginning. He fires on this side, I step out and meet it. And then I turn it. It's the exact same turn each time, okay? Does that make sense? Okay. It's gonna feel wonky. The person feeding, let me switch back to it. When I feed, okay, do it to the horizontal. When I feed, if I just barely am on him, go do it. Okay. It's just going to fall apart, all right? I need to keep a firm. You feel that? Yeah, it feels good then, right? This is not for someone who's just going to go, right? This is for someone who's going to, I'm getting you, boom. Oh, you're wanting to do the other one. Yeah, I did. Go ahead and do it. Boom. All right, same thing, right? So, he catches me horizontal, boom, he turns it. And then here we are. Everyone good? Okay. Wait. Good. Yes. Well, 
this one horizontal, right? He punches it, bang, right? Then he turns it. Boom. Okay. Now, he catches it vertical. He goes around it. He's going to go to the other side, right? If he forces it down hard, he comes out of my hand. Okay. So, he comes at me, I catch. I turn it this way, okay? So I'm going to go vertical punch, but then I'm going to go clockwise here. Typically with this one, which we're going to do a lot of these, we're going to step in with this, okay? Because now he's off balance, then I can hit him with my pommel, right? I can step in and throw. I can even just sit here and take his knife away. Unfortunately, though, if I take that action, he's probably going to step behind me. Hit the groin. Hit the groin. Just, ah! While he throws me. I'm loved. Okay, so, let's switch up. So, he feeds me. Vertical. I'm going to go around the outside and bring it to my hip, okay? He attacks me on this side. I go vertical. I bring it to my other hip. So I bring it to the opposite hip. He comes on this side. I bring it to this side. He comes on this side. I bring it to that side. Again, one, two, this side to that. We're just continuing the line over and over. Woo! <laughs> That was a not a normal noise. <laughs> okay. That's fine. We'll put that in the bloopers. Okay, so yet again, I'm here, I catch, I bring it to this side. Reality, I should be stepping. We're gonna be doing that later. Okay? So here, bring it to that hip. Here, bring it to that hip. Make sense? If your partner's wrist getting torn up, go ahead. Because you've been doing this a lot, just bring it to the middle. And be gentle. Okay? But keep the pressure. Alright, go for it. Good. This time. Gotcha. <laughs> Good. Master. There you go. Good. Good. This side. Good. 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 It's good. Fun, huh? It's really fun. It's fun. Yeah. It's it's a cool little game. Yeah. You need someone to commit. Yes. You also need to give them a little game. Yes. Because if you come nicely, yeah. If I'm here, it's just yeah. kind of nice. Yeah. You have to kind of punch them. They kind of pick them up a little bit. Yeah. 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 Yeah.